Hello, Jeff, sports card investor. How are you? I'm great, man. I'm here in your home country. Excited to experience sports cards north of the border. It's day two of the Sport Card and Memorabilia Expo, and wow, is this crowd insane. This line goes on for ever. It's, inc it's incredible. The passion of the people here in Canada coming to this show today, I can't wait to get inside and make some big deals. This episode is brought to you by eBay. eBay is here for the card collectors with a trick for every trade, like advanced tools for price guide checking with price guide beta within the eBay app, and up to 50% faster listing with image scan. Learn how collecting just got smarter at ebay.com forward slash trading hub. And you know, it's as an investor, so you know, I obviously invest a lot in yeah. sports cards, but I've invested in a lot of other businesses, a lot of other tech startups across many industries. And one thing that you can always, you can always do is, is follow the money. Yes. Because a lot of times when there's an emerging industry, when there's an area of growth, you see a lot of uh, venture capital money, you see a lot of institutional money start to flood into a particular field. And that oftentimes is a, a sign of what that the long-term strength of that field likely will be. And so when you see an industry like what we've seen with sports cards over the last two years, where there's a lot of institutional money, a lot of venture money flooding in, a lot of startups being formed, that typically means that the view of where the hobby is going to be 5, 10, 15 years out is very rosy in the minds of these professional investors. Ooh, another 250K Connor McDavid. Hey guys, I'm here with Kenny and he's got some incredible hockey cards in his case. I'm gonna see if I can work out a trade deal with him. Kenny, you've got a, you've got a shop, right? Where are yeah. you from? I'm from Grand Prairie, Alberta, uh, Canada. So right on the BC, Alberta border. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah. And what's your shop? It's Imperial Garden Sports. High-end singles and sports card wax and breaks too. I can see that. Many, many high-end singles, a lot of hockey, but then also other sports as well. So I'm trying to get my first high-end hockey cards here. So I'm going to have Kenny take a look through my cards from other sports to see if there's anything he'd be interested in trading for. Football is probably like my number two. Yeah, probably like what value do you have on the color blast? I, I bought that for 10K. The yeah. most recent sales on that have been a little bit under that. They've been yeah. like, I think the last sale was like 9,200 on that. US? US, yeah, US, yeah. yeah, US. Yeah. All right, so in terms of those guys, so I, the, the McDavid's here, so that's his, those are his future watches. Yeah. Obviously, that's a huge one. Yeah. That's the 1010. Those ones are low pop reports. Yeah, I was curious. Do you know what the pop on that one is? No, it's less, it's less than 40. Two of them just sold on eBay within the last couple of weeks for US right around 27.5. Yeah. Both of them I think sold. Golden had one at 38 last week. 38? Yeah, US. Or no, sorry, just under 32 US. 32 US? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so that's where I think we got the combi. I think conversion worked out just under 39K, so that was rounded up a little bit. But. So it's pop 11 as a 10 10, a 10, yeah. a 10 card grade and a 10 auto grade, only 11 of those ever graded that way. So that's a that's an incredible Connor McDavid card. So I would offer I would offer these three plus ten thousand US cash, whatever that works out to for Canada. So I'm pricing these, I'm kind of you know roughly so I'm 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 basically pricing this as 30k US, which is yeah. right between what it sold for on eBay and what it sold for on Golden over the course of the last few weeks. Two of them sold on eBay for 20, 28 yeah. and then I guess one sold on gold and you said for 32 yeah. US. So I put it at 30, which is right in between in terms of yeah. US. I think about 20 on And then I put, I put 20 US on these three. Yeah. Do you think you can come up a little bit on the cash? If we get to like, say like 12K cash US? Or no, 11, sorry. So then that put me right around 30, 38 Canadian. So 11, yeah, if you can do about 11 US, 11 US? Yeah, and then these three for that. I'll, that would work for me. You would do that? Yeah. Okay. 11 US. Yeah, that works for you? That works for me. Yeah. Awesome. The deal. Awesome. Yeah. You got a deal. Yeah. Yeah. And I just got my first big hockey card. That's yeah. incredible. <laughs> Congrats, Jeff. Wow, you. that's incredible. And what a hockey card to get. That is awesome to get started with that one. Wow, very, very cool. You Appreciate want to count that just no, to make sure? I, I, no, we're good. I okay. Trust you. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. You trust you. my counting. Okay. You betcha. All right. I'm not sure I trust my counting, but <laughs> I appreciate it. 
Yeah. Really appreciate yeah. it, Kenny. All right, I got my first big hockey card. I got a McDeal on McDavid. And if you're starting out with hockey cards, it doesn't get much better than this. I am so excited to have landed this as my first, but I'm not done. It's time to go make some more big deals on the show floor. Hey guys, I'm here with Jay Martin from Martin Sports Cards, one of the biggest dealers in all of the land. <laughs> and he's got some incredible pieces back here I wanted to make sure you got to see. Jay, tell us about these amazing pieces here. Yeah, you're asking about the uh, Jordan sheet. So it's, uh, the basketball is, uh, has taken off. Everything has in the last year, but especially that. How in the world did you come across that? I got that at the National five or six years ago. Have you ever seen another ago. one of those on the market before? I have, I, I've, seen, I've seen Jordan sheets, but like anything, I'm getting old, I'm dating myself here, but there's stuff that we used to see by the, the skid load and the pallet load that now is extremely rare that's gone up like thousands of percentage points. So yeah. it's, uh, it, it is something that used to be around in sheets and, and wax. The wax case of that stuff is worth, I don't know what a case is worth, I don't even know, like a, a, a box is worth a quarter million dollars now. I used yeah. to see that stuff, it was like five to 10 grand, it wasn't that long ago. So yeah. it's, uh, it's pretty good stuff. But, uh, and then yeah. over here, you got another amazing one. Yeah. We're going from one goat to another. We've got a Wayne yeah. Gretzky on cut sheet. Right, right. And when you see when you see the Gretzky on the sheet, it tells you uh, it's a real hard card to get in high grade on the sheet. It's the second row down. And how people usually store sheets is they roll them. So the first, second, and third row from the top usually is creases. That's where you're rolling. It's the tightest roll. So that's why a lot of those have creases. So. This, this one is really high grade, the same as the Jordan sheet, so that's that's rare, but it's, uh, it also has really good print, print quality. It's not a lot of print dots. It's, uh, it's a pretty strong, pretty strong high grade sheet. Hey guys, I'm here with Petros from Hidden Gem Sports Cards, and he's got a really interesting card, but this one, it's gonna be tricky to know what to do with. It's a beautiful card. It's Ovechkin's 2005 SP Authentic Future Watch Auto, number to 999. So it's a card I really want. It's high on my hit list of cards I want to get. But here's the challenge. The card is an auto grade of a 10, but the actual quality of the card itself has not been graded, which makes you suspicious. Is there something wrong with the card that caused the person not to submit it for grading? Now I've been sitting here looking under magnification and both Petrus and I can't find anything obvious to the human eye. Maybe a Except little for, bit of yeah, a soft a corner. Yeah, a couple of little soft, maybe a touch on the corner, a touch, a touch on, on the, the edge. side, on the edge. But other than that, we can't see any surface, any other corners, any miscuts. So this is a high risk, high reward situation. Right. If you buy this card and get it regraded and the card grade comes back good, there's the opportunity to make some money. But if the card grade comes back bad because there's a surface issue I just can't see right now, you've got a chance for this deal to go very wrong. Mesmerizing, eh? Yeah, maybe that. So that might be the challenge there. Right below the letter F, there's a little mark right there. That might be the surface issue that's preventing this from getting a better overall grade. Ten, yeah. All right, well, let me, yeah, I, it's a risk. Let me show you some of my cards yeah. and see if there's anything you'd be interested in trading for. Sure. So there's some right there. Uh, you know, I'm probably interested in anything besides the Embiid, Barrett, Stafford. Anything besides for those three? Yeah. Okay. So and then here's, here's some more. What's going on, bud? Ooh, beauty. Ooh, I know you like that. Leonard, maybe just the Leonard and the Tua there, but I'll, 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 any of the other ones, or the Peterson, those three excluded. Okay. I'm pretty open. So anything except the Leonard or the Tua? Yeah. I like the green Yanis. I'm Greek, how can I not, come on. It's true. The Luca. So I like those three. Okay. That's 20, 20, 25 on the last sale, 850 and 650. So that's like 35, okay. 25. 
I'd like to I'd like to do another card to at least get it closer. All right. Uh, would you do the Would you do that as well? And then that would be. Do you have one more option? Mm -hmm. I like that. Do you have one more option? I like these three. Okay. Do you have one more option? Other than that? Yeah. Done. All right, so this one, this one last sold for 2020. I like so that. So would you be interested in that one? We're at like 67.50. Okay. And then what's your card? Oh, oh so 67.50 compared to 9,500. 9,500 minus 67.50, so we're uh, 25, 27.50. Okay. Does that work for cash? Or are you wanna just do cards? It's up to you. I'd rather I'd rather do another card if you'd be willing to do another card to bridge the gap. With the sports cars investor, we're gonna do one okay. more card. That's great. All right, perfect. Look at that. Peace. What's that one? You got anything on that? That one we should be able to find a little easier. Yeah. Raw. So that one went for three thousand raw, raw, and that one's out of fifty. Yeah. Yep. When did that go in November? Yeah, so that yeah, one just went recently. Most recent, yeah. and then, uh, I think those that, are like a slightly different yeah, design. Yeah, 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 you're so right. Looks like that one. Some there. of those go for a little more. It's the same as the smaller one, smaller one. And There's then that's an it again. You're talking about 37 right 50 37 for eight, yeah. <laughs> Basically left. a 2750 yeah. gap. So this would put us a little bit over, over that. Yeah. That would put us a little yeah, bit over. Yeah. I'd be willing to, to do that if we wanted to maybe throw something else in to kind of balance it back out. I have this Tatis. Out of 10, immaculate, but I don't know if it's like in baseball. On card, beautiful, beautiful auto. Tops Luminaries, yeah. It came out of Luminaries. Oh, this, oh so this is the brand new Luminary set. You the pulled one, out. yeah. Just pulled out one of those. Out, yeah. yeah, that's pretty cool. So you would do, you would do, you would do essentially those two. Yeah. For those five. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, good? I'd do it. I Let's love do it. it. Awesome, awesome, man. Full good circle. Trade. I appreciate it. Good trade. This is Two great. Two years to the day, I started listening to you when cars were kind of like still the thing not to do. And then two years later, we get to do a final deal. I appreciate it. It's awesome. Awesome. I'm glad to get a deal done with you. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. A little trade here, sports cars investor. Two years to the day, I started cards. Two years later, here I am. I was listening to uh, sports cards investor in the Greek mountains, there traveling around Greece. Final episode go. was in Sparta. So we end up with a duel, and here we go, but nobody wins this one, we both win. That's right, great cards. Great, awesome. I appreciate the time. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Appreciate Thanks it. Thanks again, guys. Thank you, thank you. All right, I got more big hockey, look at that. I got more big okay. hockey. Hey guys, I'm back here with Frank again, and he's got an incredible case. We saw some of that in yesterday's vlog, but now it really has my attention because I picked up a really nice Ovechkin card and I picked up a really nice Connor McDavid card. I'd love to couple that with a Gretzky and also possibly an Austin Matthews. So we're gonna see if we can work something out. So the weight X? Um, I don't know, we could look that one up. Yeah, that's, that's pretty That's cool. totally, that's way undervalued right now. So, um, so yeah, definitely that would probably be the one that I'd be interested in the most. Okay. Yeah. More than the, so you wouldn't you wouldn't be interested in doing the LeBron for like some bigger ones, for example. Um, probably hold off on LeBron for now. Okay. I think, uh, you know, obviously it's a solid card, but um, with his market, I mean, uh, especially on that card, you know, I don't know, just uh, I guess I think more long term sometimes. And, right. Um, I think this is definitely a. It's got, I mean, he's going to be in the Hall of Fame in, a, exactly, in a, right? what, another year or two. Exactly, so I think long term, yeah. or maybe short term, right? Like, it's yeah. definitely a good card to have. What, is blue, what does blue lines mean versus non-blue lines? What that's, does that mean? That's an interesting question. Um, and it's, it's definitely a controversial one, too, because um, the blue lines um, on the back, there's two blue lines just by the logo of uh, the character that you'll see on the card. And... A lot of people tend to assume that those two blue lines indicate an early production on the card, supposedly like a first print, um, but it's never been proven before, you know. Um, there's no actual hardcore evidence that actually suggests that, the, that those two blind, blue lines sorry, um, actually represent the first print in the Gretzky rookie card. Mm -hmm. But for a lot of collectors and investors as well, 
it does add a bit of a premium and more kind of desirability to the card just because it kind of has a signature type of aspect to it, right? It adds, you know, that kind of difference and it just, you know, that's what people kind of want to look for, right? What would you do um, that for that? Okay. Could I maybe make up the difference with another card or with, or with a little bit of cash? Um, yeah, potentially. What are you thinking? I do that in 800 cash. That's probably the best I would do on it. You good? We're good. Awesome. Let's do it. Let's do it. Appreciate it. Awesome, man. Awesome. Very, very cool. Sounds good. I got my first Gretzky. I'm excited for this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Go. Congrats on your first Gretzky. Hey, I got my first Gretzky. That's right. Got it done. Came to Canada, and I'm going to leave with a Gretzky. Awesome. The Sport Card and Memorabilia Expo was amazing. I'm so sad that I have to go home. The people in Toronto were so very cool, and this is one of the best shows I've ever been to. But alas, it's time to go. I can't wait to the next one. Hit subscribe and that bell icon so I can bring you our adventures on our next card show journey. Take care.